Welcome to an exclusive skill capped guide for BFA patch 8.3. Throughout the final season of BFA, we'll be releasing select guides from our site here on YouTube. If you're interested in seeing more new content like this every week, alongside our exclusive matchup review series in which we cover in detail exactly how to win the hardest and most popular matchups, head over to skillcap.com. Hello everyone, welcome to a new Knowing Your Enemy guide. My name's Joe Fernandez and I'll be taking you through 5 ways to counter Windwalker Monks. Windwalker Monks are top tier versatile melee, which are relatively great into everything. Knowing how to counter them can make your time against them easier, as well as improve your win rate against them. For this guide, we used footage from Waz, the current BlizzCon champion who's super high rated on his Windwalker ult. If you want to see more high-end Windwalker action, be sure to check out his stream. One of the best ways at dealing with Windwalkers is by stopping their Fists of Fury channel. Fists of Fury deals a ton of damage if left untouched, as most Windwalkers stack the Open Palm Strikes trait as well, giving them a ton of pressure during their Fists of Fury channel. There are multiple ways you can stop this, one of them being to use instant or casting crowd control on the monk, which will instantly stop the Fists channel. If unable to stop Fists of Fury, you could also look to avoid the channel completely by using your mobility to kite away from the Fists of Fury, as they are also running at a reduced speed. That way you can still negate take in the damage and avoid a lot of pressure. The same can be done when dealing with the Storm Earth and Fire from Monks, as these Fists of Fury casts from the images can deal even more pressure. This means you'll need to crowd control all of them, or avoid all of them if you want to stop taking the Fists pressure. The images will deal more damage than the actual Windwalker instead, making root effects excellent to peel them, or knock effects such as this elemental shaman does against Wes. This leads onto our second way of countering a Windwalker monk, which is to be wary of their offensive cooldowns. Windwalker monks have access to two charges of Storm Earth and Fire, as well as a touch of death, which can deal an incredible amount of damage if left unchecked. This can be seen here when Waz uses both of these offensive cooldowns, when the enemy team has no defensive cooldowns to deal with them. As you can see, this easily leads to the demise of Zuniaki. For these offensive cooldowns, you'll need to either heavily crowd control the Windwalker, or make sure you have defensive cooldowns ready for them in order to survive with ease. With Storm Earth and Fire, you could also use crowd control onto the images, as they deal the brunt of the damage when they're up. Nova effects or AoE crowd control effects are powerful against them to stop all of their damage. Touch of Death will be more troublesome to deal with though, however being a 2 minute cooldown itself, you should be able to trade a promising defensive cooldown with it. You can also remove it with immunities, meaning Blessing of Protection can be excellent to defuse the pressure. Another way to help counter a Windwalker is by forcing them to kite. Basically if you make setups onto them, or have big damage against them, you could force them to either use big defensive cooldowns, or kite in order to live. This is great as if you force them to kite, you'll stop them from doing damage onto your teammates, making it easier to live against them. In this example, we can see Waz being targeted and taking big damage from the Warlock's Infernal Chaos Bolts. This prompts Waz having to kite to a pillar, which is good for him so he can survive, but he has to use his Fortifying Brute as well to stop his damage for the time being. Windwalkers are squishy by nature, so if you pressure them and they don't kite, you'll end up forcing defensive cooldowns much more easily. We can see that in another example where Waz has to use his Diffuse Magic to deal with heavy pressure from an Ellie Boomkin. He's forced to kite, which again helps him stay alive, but also makes him lose out on a lot of pressure, allowing the Ellie and Moonkin to damage the Demon Hunter during this time. We touched into this a bit, but making heavy swaps onto Windwalkers can be a great way to counter them. Doing heavy swaps will not only force them to kite, as previously shown, but it can be an easy way to force defensive cooldowns as well as take them down. It's key that you have big pressure during these swaps or heavy crowd control on healers so that you can force these defensive cooldowns, as we see here from the Jungle Cleave. They were very close to taking down Waz, but at least end up forcing the Touch of Karma, being a huge defensive cooldown to take. Even though Windwalkers have an arsenal of big defensive cooldowns, Downs, you can end up going through them or the Windwalkers use them offensively, not having access to them if needing to survive. If they have no trinket though and you have a ton of damage, you could take them down before they get their defensive cooldowns off or come close to it to force several defensive cooldowns at once. Here's an example where Waz is close to being taken down. They get a full hex on Chaz whilst using a lightning lasso on Waz, which deals a lot of damage. 
followed by landing a double leg sweep on Chaz and Waz again. This forces the human racial life cocoon from Chaz in order to save his Windwalker. Without this, Waz could have easily went down, as the enemy team made a nice heavy swap onto him. Last but not least, you want to be careful with your trinkets and human racial, as Windwalkers can easily punish this. This ties in again to the Windwalkers offensive cooldowns. If they have these up and you have no defensive cooldowns or trinkets to help during these situations, it can easily be your demise. Good Windwalkers will see these opportunities and can punish you for it, so make sure you have something ready for it to deny them that kill opportunity. Here is a great example of Waz pulling this off against myself, when I have no trinket during big offensive cooldowns from the Warlock and from Waz's images. With a leg sweep into a mortal coil and their cooldowns, they are able to take me down swiftly, punishing my trinket from being used offensively earlier. That covers the 5 different ways to counter Windwalker monks in the arenas. Make sure to plus skill this guide if it helped, and if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.